A jury found James Monroe Brown of Bennettsville guilty of murder last week in a gang-related killing in January of 2017, according to Fourth Circuit Deputy Solicitor Kerna Erd Redmond. The victim, James Henderson, Jr. of Tra, was shot at least eight times at a mobile home park on Hillian Edwards Road near Tra. Redmond said Brown is not eligible for any reductions and must serve the entire sentence. He added Brown was convicted under the legal doctrine of accomplice liability, often referred to as the hand of one is the hand of all. The state had previously reached a plea agreement with a co-defendant, Brenton Davis, also of Bennettsville. Davis received a 17-year sentence for voluntary manslaughter in August 2019. Redmond said they presented evidence at the trial showing that on the evening of January 21, 2017, the victim was at home with his family. Among those at the residence was Henderson's eight-year-old son and his five-month-old son. A group of men from Bennettsville then came to the mobile home park searching for the victim. After initially going to the wrong residence, the group, which included the Brown, Brenton Davis and others, confronted the victim at his residence. They pressured him to come outside to be put in the box. This meant Henderson was to be surrounded as he fought multiple individuals in the group. At some point shortly after the victim was placed in the box, shots were fired and the victim ran. He was shot multiple times as he ran away from the residence occupied by his family. His body was found about an hour and a half later across SC Highway 9 on the eastbound side. Redmond said there was no direct evidence Brown was armed, nor could it be determined exactly who was shooting at the victim. However, testimony at trial established that several members of the Bennettsville group were heavily armed. The state introduced evidence from witnesses deputies, and a firearms expert from SLED that there were at least three handguns and a shotgun at the scene. Cell tower location data, cell phone call and text records, and witness testimony were presented by the state to prove Brown's presence and participation. Brown was part of a show of force and ambush as described by Deputy Solicitor Kerna Erd Redmond. The state also argued that Brown was a part of the box. This case represents a turning point in the prosecution of gang violence in Chesterfield County and the Fourth Judicial Circuit. If you participate, encourage or aid in gang violence, there will be consequences, Fourth Circuit solicitor Will Rogers said in a press release. I hope this sends a message throughout the circuit that my office is aggressively prosecuting cases involving gang violence. The case was prosecuted by Fourth Circuit Deputy Solicitor Kerna Erd Redmond and investigated by the Chesterfield County Sheriff's Office.